Uh, yeah, and just had that little inc big incident with Roman Reigns backing up the ambulance like a madman trying to kill Braun Strowman. Um, if that was real life, it probably would be Roman Reigns would be um, took to the court of law and um, be in suspicion of attempted murder because um, that's what it looked like there. Attempted murder. Roman, you should be ashamed of yourself. Great for Roman Reigns. Uh, puts more ruthlessness and intensity to his character. And that's great for Roman. And it's it's kind of like Bret Hart and Stone Cold. It reminds me. Because the way that Braun Strowman walked out that ambulance shows that he's indestructible. But he's a tough motherfucker. Like anyone who was backed into a truck like that would be fucking destroyed or even die, right? And uh, the way that they uh, shot it, obviously, you weren't in the back of the ambulance, obviously, because you'd die, basically, if that happened. It shows the ruthlessness and uh, how far Roman Reigns is willing to go for someone that he does not like. And he does not like Braun Strowman, and this is going to put um, a new element to the rivalry. This rivalry is going to be like the rivalry of the year, I think. Um, shows the ruthlessness of Reigns. Reigns has done great in this match. That selling and showing the ruthlessness and aggression that I love. And that takes it to the furthest of what he did after the match. And the match was a freestyle, but after the match. Um, puts the rating up on this show. And uh, it reminds me of the Bret Hart Stone Cold match where... Brett's gotten a sub shooter and Austin's supposed to be the heel and obviously that he does never gives up and then Brett gets booed and uh, Austin becomes babyface. It kind of reminds me of that. It won't be the same obviously because times have changed. But um, um, Braun Strowman just showing how tough he is, just walking away from that. He's, he's, the crowd has to clap. That's like a face turn, really. So I can't see Braun Strowman uh, being a heel, to be honest. After that, because that's a bit, that's a babyface move, and basically that's showing how tough he actually is. So the crowd are going to start to love Braun Strowman even more when he comes back, definitely. Um. The yeah, MT's had to open up the ambulance. And you're thinking, is Braun Strowman going to be dead or whatever? But the look on Kurt Angle's face is, was great. As he was like, ah, what the f... You know, concerned. And on, and on his watch, because he's general manager, Braun Strowman could have been dead. That's what he was thinking. Attempted murder. Oh, Reigns, that's what you're facing now. Um, nah, that was a great uh, storytelling there. As we get to the main event of Samoan Joe versus Lesnar now, the promo leading up to it. My destiny has brought Lesnar at the end of it. It's everything I ever wanted. Uh. I'm taking my time off today to do this podcast. Now I'm going to write my book and um, go and post some things off. I get a PD, a P tonight. I hope I win this bid because this bid is a very good one. It's called a vintage raw wrestling magazines which have got a lot for sale on Shypock and um, I've been my own site uh, could be called sfsfordiscounts.com which I am uh, in the uh, process of designing the pages so I'm, I'm going that way so I'll redirect you but I've got all the vintage stuff um, I'm going to bid for more vintage magazines but I've got all the vintage uh, 
WWF magazine from the Attitude Era, the official ones, and some of the Raw ones, and I've got all the Power Slam uh, ones as well. So, if you want me to read them out, if you don't want to buy them, I, if anyone requests me to read them in a funny type way, where I put on my voices, then um, I will do. I'll read the Power Slam magazines out on my future podcast. But yeah, I've got all the old magazines. Um, I've got all the Injustice, new Injustice ones as well, which I'm selling at a very cheap price. Um, so visit Shypock for that. Um, free PayPal is the best way to pay. If you live round in my area, come to my house and... Uh, pay cash up front uh, do it either way but I always do my postage for free that's all I can say I like Simone Jones music uh, music brides you up probably the best music on WWE at the moment is Simone Jones music and Brock Lesnar's fires you up for a fight like I like to hear Simone Joe's theme or Brock Lesnar's theme as I went into battle. Here he comes. I'm gonna get on my feet when I got this music comes. The beast incarnate is coming. It's gonna be a match, hopefully. I expect this to be a good match. Simone Joe is not backing down from Lesnar. I'm telling you that for now. He ain't scared of Lesnar. And the crowd are chanting Joe because at the end of the day Joe has put it down his matches with CM Punk if you watch them on um, YouTube he matches with Kurt Angle he's a legend and he's a one tough Samoan motherfucker but obviously Lesnar is in a league of his own Lesnar's in a Lesnar is in a Mike Tyson type league he's a fucking beast I just get fucking revved up when I see fucking Lesnar out of the fucking ring. Look at the fucking look on his face, man. You see a weigh in when he when he weighed in with Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt's one big motherfucker, but Lesnar, man, is a fucking beast. He's an animal. He's fast. He could be the fucking best fighter ever in. Look, he's a fucking beast. The guy is a fucking beast, mate, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He'd be a good debt collector, Brock Lesnar. A good enforcer for the Mafia back in the day. He is a fucking one machine, but do not underestimate Samoan Joe, because he is one Samoan motherfucker. And the Samoan... The Samoans are one tough bunch of motherfuckers. The Rock, he is a tough bastard in real life. I'm telling you. The Rock's tough, his family were tough, Haku, um, the Wild Samoan tag teams, Samoans are tough, I'm telling you, they're fucking tough bastards, they come from an island, a tribe, so they've got toughness in the blood, like um, the Irish have, and um, Jamaica, Jamaicans, and... Um, Um, the Africans have more about their endurance um, they've got more endurance with their long distance running um, obviously because of the sun and uh, the very they can endure a lot more pain than probably any other race the Irish are tough in their brutality of um, toughness and fighting like um, not every Irish and it depends on who you are you can be really soft Irish people really soft African American or you know but um, Irish have got that brutality hardness toughness to them um Anyway, 
Here we go. Here's a match from the way. Simone Joe, boom, smashes Lesnar into the barricade. I told you, do not take Simone Joe lightly. Three jabs to Simone. Face first against the announce table. Again. Bang, rock fucking, standing rock bottom, straight through the fucking table. Lesnar's down. Told you, Simone Joe is not to be taken lightly. And he is going to give it to Brock Lesnar, I'm telling you. He is one tough bastard. Not a great way to start the match. Paul Heyman is shocked. His advocate has been destroyed. He got thrown into the barricade. Quick free jab and then a standing rock bottom through the table. Both of them have been fighters all their life. Lesnar growing up on a farm. Um, Samoa and Joe grew up um, on the Isle of Samoa. Got a tough family. I've read. His dad was uh, part of the tribe, uh, Samoa tribe, I think. Um, a gang in uh, South Florida, I think. I'm not, that's what I've heard. Might not be true. Um, Look at Simone Joe there. Ahi, 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 aha, oha, oha, oha. He's standing there like a Samoan, like a like a traditional Samoan in his island, as they do. They get on their knees and they go, aha, 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 aha. Well, it's always caught Brock Lesnar off guard, but now. But as a smiles now as Joe Oh Joe straight into the corner Great and Zaguri kick by Joe There's that his signature move headbutt headbutt Bloody hell Brock Lesnar's getting brutalized never seen anyone take it to Brock Lesnar like this Ever Oh knees by Lesnar the you are seeing these fucking knee him in his fucking head here yeah, go on, fucking, right, uh, fucking, yeah, world class crap, but Joe's, Joe's got, uh, probably the weight advantage on Lesnar. Oh, he's jabbing him, he's jabbing him, he's got the left jabs in, he's putting him in. And then, and then the hammer fist. It's like a fight, this is a fight, I love it, come on. Oh, great mat wrestling by Joe there. But, I don't think he could out mat wrestle Lesnar, because he is an NTAA champion. Oh now here comes Lesnar putting those strong fucking shoulders on. Boom! Fucking knees to the head. Go on Lesnar, show that brutality. The UFC head but this is a fight. This is a fight. Oh he's going for the Cobra clutch. Oh shit. Oh shit, Lesnar's in trouble here. Cobra clutch, he's locked, he's locked it in. He's got it in. Oh Brock Lesnar man, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, Puts him onto the turnbuckle. Oh, Suplex City time. Number one. Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City. Suplex City now. Two. Number two. Now, Simone Joe has entered. Suplex City. He now is a resident. Number three. Three suplexes there. This match is going to test Lesnar. Lesnar's got endurance. This is what I mean. This I, I said before. This match needs to be a match. Suplex City, bitch. Come on, Lesnar. The beast. Oh, Simone Joe with it. That classic heel move there. Grabs the referee and low blow by Simone Joe. That's a classic, classic heel move by Simone Joe there. Yeah, this match has been quite a good one. It's been fast. Oh, that's like a standing kneeling rock bottom there. 
there's probably enough a different uh, word to the move. This has been off, this has been off the chain. It's been like it's been a fight from the get go. Um, about five to ten minutes in this to match. Um, probably slow down now a bit. I think. Oh, and he's going for the Cobra Clutch. And it's not slowing down. It's high spot after high spot in this match. Lesnar, I've never seen Lesnar take a beating like this. Never. This is what makes this match special. Lesnar's like his face turning red a bit. Oh, Lesnar's in trouble. He's got it locked in now. Lesnar's gasping for air. This is a this is a fight Lesnar would have to tap in the UFC match, obviously. Oh. He's in trouble here. Classic selling by Lesnar, I've got to admit. His face is selling it good. Oh, side suplex. That shows the strength of Lesnar. Picking up a... 250 to 300 pound man like that off a Copa Crush. I can't ever, ever, I've seen Brock Lesnar take a beating like he has in this match. Never. This is what makes this match great. And it's been on since. It's been a, a fight. Oh, that's great, great move. Suplex number four. You see Lesnar there? That would be great in a fight. If you've got your back to the guy, you're going under the legs, and then, you, and then he does the suplex like that. Number six. The sixth trip to Suplex City, number seven. No, seven, isn't it? Six, seven. I think it's seven. No, seven. I'm sure it's seven. Oh, we're going for the F5. Oh, now he's going for the Cobra Clutch. This is a good match. Again, Lesnar's in trouble for the third time in this match with the Cobra Clutch. Boom, back into the thing. Oh, but Lesnar... Oh, he's... But put a bit of weight on Lesnar there by... Back to the turnbuckle, putting his leg... No, Lesnar Sell it, selling it well as well. Good selling by Lesnar. This is a great match. I've got to admit, it's the best match that Brock Lesnar's had in a while. This is. This match will be remembered. Oh, old oh, F5 quick. This is how quick and dangerous Brock Lesnar is. F5. One, two, three. Yes. Brock Lesnar does it. But Simone Joe giving me a run for his money there. I'd like this match to go on for longer. I'll give this match a... Uh, um, I'm going to give it a four star. Four star match. Because it was on from the get go. It went on longer than Lesnar and Goldberg did at WrestleMania, so I'll give this match a four star. That's going to set up a match between Lesnar and Reigns at SummerSlam. But Joe, Joe gave him a run for his money there. It's going to look Joe look, look better. I knew it was going to happen. That was a fight. This match was a fight. Seven suplexes for Suplex City. Cobra Clutch attempt three times. The brute, you know, the fights, the back and forth fight. I'm happy with the match. Can't see complaining about this match. I'll, the only thing is I'd like... I'd probably, the match never slowed its pace down. I thought it might have slowed down a bit. But he got everything he wanted to get in there. So I'll give this match a four star. And um, I'll review the pay per view um, and give it a rating out of 10, like I do.
but Lesnar, no one took it to Lesnar like Joe did that night. But Lesnar's the champion, it sets up the match for Lesnar and Reigns at SummerSlam. It's going to be a big match like this one was. What a great match.